Thank you very much, Speaker. My pleasure to uh, rise and debate today. I wish it were about Bill 166, the Strengthening Protection for Ontario Consumers Act, but really what we are here to de debate today is time allocation. In essence, it is a closure motion in which the government is bringing forward so that we will limit the debate on the topic. And Speaker, I must say, when I first arrived here uh, almost 12 years ago, and I sat further in the back than I do today. We used to, we used to have sheets upon sheets upon sheets of, of, of articles, or Hansard, I, I suppose, that was from the government, uh, talking about in periods of uh, past uh, that, of members who had sat when our party had formed a government. And they would routinely criticized the previous uh, Conservative administration for invoking closure. And so we would have literally passages and excerpts from the Liberal government of how they would, uh, they would oppose the invocation of, of closure. And of course, one of our favourites was the member from St. Catharines who um, opposed time allocation and closure motions until they formed a government and then they would routinely themselves uh, invoke closure as they have today. And my colleague from Renfrew Nipissing Pembroke, of course, calls these uh, the, the guillotine motions, chopping off debate, ending debate, cutting the head off of the debate speaker. And I, I wanted just to point that out because this is a Liberal government that likes to talk about transparency, openness and accountability, yet at the same period of time, Speaker, they don't want to have that type of accountability for their legislation. They don't want to have that openness, that transparency, so the public will actually understand what type of bills they are bringing forward and what those implications are uh, to the province of Ontario uh, and, and, in this particular case, the, uh, the consumers of the province of Ontario. And I think that when you're talking about consumer protection, we all have stories from our own communities, our own constituencies, where we could bring these to the floor of the Ontario Legislature. And I think, too, Speaker, one of the things that they have, they have not only neglected to do in terms of continuing open debate, but we frequently do not have enough time at committee uh, the way we used to in traveling these bills so that there is adequate consultation with the public and adequate uh, and, and thorough uh, reviews of legislation in terms of uh, clause by clause and, and, uh, and amendments. Uh, one of the areas I would have liked to have seen in this piece of legislation, for example, are uh, stricter controls in the insurance business um, of here in Ontario. And I, I must say, in the city of Ottawa, we've had a great deal of flooding, and uh, we had a great deal of flooding last uh, fall, I, I, or last spring. Sorry, I actually spent some time in in the area of uh, Car Carp and West Carleton, um, loading sandbags so that we could help uh, our neighbours in our community uh, against this flooding after the Ottawa River uh, rose. But then I had a flood in my own home. It it it, it occurred um, it occurred from a. Uh, dishwasher overflow, and I can tell you, dealing with the insurance business and the insurance uh, industry in this province is is nothing short of hell. And I think that the government could have actually looked at that industry, one in particular, where we could have seen some, perhaps even a consumer uh, bill of rights uh, for those who are dealing in, in the insurance uh, in the insurance industry. And so that's one of the areas I would I would like to have seen the government, um, you know, pursue. And we could have had an open discussion uh, here in the Ontario Legislature uh, to have uh, have a conversation where we could have looked further into that particular industry. And and I know that we've we've looked at uh, other industries as well. Um, it, I've uh, obviously spoken to the media about this legislation, and one area that I do support it uh, is where you're looking at uh, purchasing tickets online um, and the bots that are out there that are. That, uh, and I think we had one case in particular that was egregious, and that was when the uh, tragically hip were on tour. Um, may Gord Downey rest in peace. But he uh, he had gone uh, on a, on a tour uh, throughout, um, and they and and a number of scalpers decided to pick up those tickets, and that uh, was particularly egregious because I think a number of Canadians wanted to uh, wanted to support uh, the tragically hip at that time. And so I, I often will see that in the City of Ottawa. For example, we have uh, Canada 150 events, celebrations. Uh, we have uh, uh, we, we have uh, 
the uh, a major hockey game coming up, the, the Winter Classic between Ottawa and Montreal. Um, go Sens, go exactly, that's right. I'm very upset, however, with the Senators right now for letting Kyle Turris go. A number of my favourite hockey players have left Ottawa after we had a Cinderella season last year. So I, uh, I'm a bit bitter about that speaker. I, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, you know, hide that but we also had a tremendous run with the red blacks so this past weekend they did, did lose i watched the game i had to turn it off after the uh, the third quarter though because it just broke my heart that this wonderful team uh, wasn't going to be at the Grey Cup next weekend in Ottawa at, when, they, when they're hosting it. But again, I think it speaks to the consumer protection for those people who, uh, who are fans, like myself and the member from Ottawa Centre, who, uh, who love our teams that are from our city. And we want to make sure that our constituents who want to attend a CFL game or an, an NHL game, uh, that they have the opportunity to to play. Now, I must admit, Speaker, um, because this is a time allocation motion and I'm allowed to waver on the topic, and I've already done my, my bit in criticizing the government for bringing in a time allocation motion, I must say that John Cherry made my daughter cry on, Saturday, on Sunday, and I'm a big Don Cherry fan, but he said that it's possible that my Ottawa Senators will move to Quebec if we don't get a new arena in downtown Ottawa, and that just broke my daughter's heart because that's our team. And so I don't know if, uh, if, if that's going to happen. I suspect it probably won't. We are looking at bringing a, a new arena in downtown Ottawa at, uh, at the uh, Le Breton Flats location. We'll see how that, that proceeds, but it's obviously a federal matter on NCC land. But I think uh, that one thing that I'd like to say is that we do, you know, regardless of uh, they've decided to, to uh, send a number of our favorite players off to other teams through trades and whatnot uh, that that we want to ensure that um, that with us, I'll just make sure that that phone doesn't go off and uh, <laughs> it's not ringing it's not ringing uh, but we want to make sure that the Ottawa Senators stay in Ottawa and we, we need to send a message I think that that that, uh, that team stays there and we continue to uh, we continue to protect the consumers and the fans who want to uh, support our our NHL team um, but again speaker I know I have limited time in debate today so it's uh, I think it's it's relatively important that we continue to have uh, an open discussion on strengthening protection for Ontario consumers and I think that it's important that we talk about uh, some of the key issues uh, uh, whether it's Ontarian or whether it is on um, uh, you know when when people are buying homes or uh, when it when it comes to purchasing uh, tickets for whether it's entertainment uh, or or uh, sports that those protections are in place so that uh, you know in Ontario everything is is relatively fair and uh, and I'm going to look forward to um, to uh, you know voting on this piece of legislation which I suspect will come later in this week I'm also looking forward to seeing what the fall economic statement uh, says later on today uh, as we uh, as we sit in this legislative assembly and of course this afternoon a speaker will be talking about health care and the third party will have a motion based on uh, health care in Ontario particularly as it as it uh, relates to to uh, a Brampton hospital and and so when we're talking about Ontario consumers I think it's also something we could we could do in terms of talking about uh, patients and this government obviously had a piece of legislation called putting patient first act and then of course we see what's happening in Brampton and we know that that legislation has has failed so speaker I uh, I wanted to say thank you for the opportunity to debate I do recognize on the clock that we are to uh, we are to uh, recess uh, before question period so with that again I, I say thank you and uh, really enjoyed this opportunity to speak.